welcome everyone to today's game. Um, joining me for the commentary will be Axe by 94, none other. Hello everyone. It's so nice to be back. Hello. Especially with you. Oh, thank you. Same here. Um, <laughs> so, uh, small uh, note here. Uh, we are basically redubbing this uh, commentary because we had a little trouble with the um, audio cues from uh, the previous casters and feel very bad for ADB and Crumble, who lost their nice commentary. But um, me and Axway have been completely spoiler-free for this, so we're going in dry, and um, Axway will read us uh, the lineups. Yeah, as this for this game one of this uh, challenge between JJ, the Austrian, and Candyman, uh, the legendary speedrunner from oh, yeah. uh, Great Britain. And starting off, uh, JJ with a paratrooper, a grenadier, two engineers, and a scout. And probably gonna show up soon, Candyman's uh, lineup, which Whoa. I'm gonna tell you anyway. It is a medic, and paratrooper, a grenadier, and two engineers to end. With uh, the oh, power of know, editing, what? just... Uh, I mean, with the power of uh, this being pre-recorded, I could have just skipped. Yes, <laughs> we'll see. So, do you know the map, uh, Fab? I haven't checked the map yet. I've tried to be the most spoiler-free I can possibly be, so uh, we'll have to find the map together pretty soon. Okay, Actually, okay. Let's uh, let's guess based on the <laughs> uh, on the lineup. So what 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 map could it be? Two oh, engineers man. at the end. Could be a very flat map. Paratrooper. Yeah. Oh, there is one parachute. You're right. Maybe some water. Uh, maybe grassy knolls. Oh, over the oh, okay. Oh, nice. Man, <laughs> what a great first map to start for these two players. As uh, you were mentioning, Candyman is uh, a legend in the speedrun, but relatively grassroots for when it comes to multiplayer. He said he hasn't played a multiplayer game in years, so absolutely excited to see how he fares in his first game of the Grand Lake. Well, I guess that from a player like Candyman, we will surely see some good execution. Yeah. But maybe this will uh, lead to some like mistakes, maybe in tactical thinking, strategizing the mm. turns. Exactly, especially in the, late, in the late game. I would be curious to see because JJ has a lot of potential to scramble Candyman's plans. You know, it's not the AI, remember. But we Ooh, see. We need time. Oh, see so JJ almost. No, this is Candyman actually. Oh, okay. He thought he could come. Oh, he oh. doesn't manage to get the Grand down, but. All right. Chaotic first turn there. We'll see how JJ retaliates. Or Austrian friend of friend. And friend as well. <laughs> well, we can see, I think, for the first time, the new spawn point in this uh, game. Which oh, was right. fixed for uh, the playoffs of uh, the Oxford Super League, but never did uh, been used, really. Oh, we the... did, yeah. Yeah, because there is a chance that uh, one of the pigs spawns there, where the Grenadier is now. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, they used to not be there, right? Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. usually the pigs are all uh, in the... Like, in the tunnels, if we want to think, think about it. Yeah, I know. Uh, oh! JJ goes, uh, probably inadvertently, on the target practice to get one drop. Which yeah, and that drop should be a uh, jetpack jet software. Oh, okay. yeah. Oh, and uh, <laughs> okay, can even get the bazooka with his para. Well, I mean, he probably didn't mm. know what's, what was there. Okay, I have a feeling That's he. Probably the jetpack. Yeah, I have a feeling he also didn't want to overdo with practice, which is you know it's fair because oh another bazooka. I mean he's taking them out of the way, so you know less potential for the enemy. There's that. That's true, and I think he's gonna be he really taking goes. out the grenadier, yeah, in the tunnels, so he's gonna have to walk some more. Uh, yep, it's down the trench. The, the, the enemy. Because leaving him there would be basically having a grenadier raining shells on you. True, you're right. That that would have been dangerous. And now it's JJ's grenadier too. So we have seen so far. Uh, a medic and a paratrooper. Yes. Then JJ would have been it would have had the grenadier here. The medic. Probably in the worst position possible. Mm. Exactly. And um, yeah, now let's see. I, I think Candyman has a 
good um, like aggressive strategy in mind. Probably mm. didn't, didn't uh, really wasn't really prepared for the uh, for the guy on the on the top in the yeah. bottom corner of the map. So he's probably trying to adapt it on the go. But I guess uh, I guess oh. would be. <laughs> Yeah. For now, a pretty solid tactic for, for, for both of them. We can see uh, there's potential to see like a little bit of an unconventional uh, uh, map, not played as usual, where the people just punch up in the in, in the central tunnel. Oh yeah, hmm, interesting. Uh, he hasn't got. Oh, okay. Look at that. Uh, almost... Should be an eighty. Uh, okay, it's... Exactly eighty. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Could expect none other from uh, Candyman. Nah. Okay, um, it, it seems that uh, he didn't go for the body block there with the Grenadier, which I recently learned how vital it is with the Grenadier. You don't want to leave him um, without anyone to hug him of the enemy color, basically. The Grenadier is a hugger. He needs someone to always hug, but yeah. So. <laughs> he I gets like the hugger. <laughs> yeah. Well, it, the hair gel is still uh, going to be pretty healthy. It's probably going to take full damage. No, it gets gently pushed down from the slope. The main difference I can see now is that uh, <clears throat> basically JJ is dealing the damage to the most valuable piece of uh, that's true of Candyman's lineup, and uh, Candyman needs to like do something, create some situations that uh, brings out the attention from the, these two pigs as much as possible in order to have to, to admit, at least try to have some extra damages and I can see a uh, shrapnel hmm. in Grand League so yeah, yeah. shrapnels Hell are yeah. officially let's go ahead man <laughs> <laughs> yeah the shrapnels are spreading through the tournaments now let's see if uh, he managed to get a trick shot oh Ooh. interesting angle there very low is it my angle <laughs> oh I don't know ah, no. well, lucky and lucky I usually try the opposite. I try to like do a little, um, a little bit of a base basketball throw, you know, like higher, so it drops slower. But yeah, I mean, do you usually like use the like the standard angle that the game, the game gives you, I mean, or do you like go it for a, a, even even higher shot? Uh, I, I usually I go. It depends. I usually go with the standard one, but if I feel like it's a hard shot, then I might uh, drop it uh, like. Another shrapnel. I'm oh, sorry. Another shrapnel. Oh, <laughs> no. This is the Sosa. Shrapnel. Excited, excited shrapnel. Here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I forgot how much uh, you cared for the shrapnel game, and uh, who can blame you? That's uh, very interesting. Very exciting. You never know. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go go back to my uh, to my lunch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we we just have to wait for the. Good place. I, I have a good feeling of this. I, I again, I've been completely spoiler free, but I have a good feeling. Maybe this map. I gotta say, this map is really hard to begin, you know, a tournament on because it's a little mazy. You know, it's a little hard to traverse. So uh, a player might be too busy with their minds, uh, thinking, oh, where do I go? What's the what's the right Turn, you know, you don't have Google Maps in Hawks of War, of course. None of that bullshit. You get mini map, so it's kind of a Google Map. It's a, a mini map, yeah. It's more like a Tom Tom from 1990, but <laughs> that's the job. <laughs> <laughs> I personally really like. I'm, I'm struggling, but I'm learning to use it. Um, but we see Candyman going against the scout. We'll see if it might go on top of the little thing there, which could be good for JJ. We'll see. This is actually a. Thing that could like go not the way Candyman is expecting. Look at because that. now, yes, because now I was I was about to say that uh, probably oh. JJ used the TNT because uh, oh, oh no, not, yes, never mind. Okay, because the Grenadier is a twenty, so yes. it's a perfect target for the scout, and he knew that the scout was next. Yeah, yeah, but um, I, I don't know about you, but I would have stayed up there with the scout and uh, maybe do this grand, like, um, gasp, the poison gas, because as you were saying, scout could have avoided the further TNTs. I would have forced the Candyman to maybe use, you know, shrapnel, which is a little bit less consistent. Oh, but Candyman, if he is the speedrunner that he is, he's gonna make this pig run, yeah, with a healing so we hand. We can see the quick pull. He's dropping his hands, that medic is like, come on, come on. <laughs> the controller is suddenly on fire. 
<laughs> friction. Oh, it does. Uh, shouldn't be a I surprise, mean, but boom. Yeah. Definitely not a surprise, but I mean, people, the boss players aren't making them uh, the, the mistakes. Yeah, uh, we, we can see now that it's kind of going where Candyman uh, was hoping, where this is there's are this low situation that is scrambling a little bit the the map. So, okay. Yeah, now the that game is gonna be there for quite a while, yeah. and um, and JZ just didn't bring a medic with him. So exactly, so, I was gonna say. Thing. Very interesting, very brave. I gotta say, um, not bring a medic, especially not first. It's a, it's a good move. Uh, it, it pays off usually, but you have to know what you're doing. As uh, I've heard, some players have been deciding to uh, instead of doing the MOBA. The MoMA, sorry. Uh, they're letting the enemy do the MoMA and then they act consequently. So that's interesting. Okay, okay. Sorry, I, I, I have to point out how much I hate the uh, the, the acronym MoMA. <laughs> uh, I, I'm probably going to be the only one not using it. But, uh, oh, no, no, that, no. That's, that's fine for me. I, 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 I find know. it so funny. I also don't like it, but now it kind of grew on me, you know, hearing uh, ADB and the others say it. Yeah, everybody has been using it. Ooh. It got popular pretty quick, but yeah. I'm gonna use the old medical medic action. Medical medic action, that, that's the worst. <laughs> Said as quickly as possible. Yeah. <laughs> you, you might even say it faster than just MoMA. Medical medic action. Ro roll medical medic. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Now let's let's speed this up uh, by five times uh, in editing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, wow, that fast slip always uh, gets me. Call me, right, the, call me a child, but that sound always cracks, cracks, cracks me. Yeah. Sorry, I was. Uh, we, we we're kind of talking on, uh, no, on each no. other. We don't do it on purpose. Then. No I was saying the game is kind of bunching up uh, in this uh, like bottom right corner. Mm -mm. Well, it's a corner for sure. Yeah, we, we never know. Yeah. If uh, you know, again, if the map had the north, we would have known. But um, that's relatively arbitrary. But yeah. Yeah, I mean, the map is spinning continuously <laughs> as the pig is moving. So. Oh, oh that's 105. You're yeah. right. 15 times oh, 5. We, we see a lot of uh, like high-level play, which is a little bit unusual in uh, in this Grand League, especially watching the first games, how they uh, were pretty oh, much yeah. more yeah, yeah, but JJ is a strong candidate for this year's um, I don't want to say, I don't want to jinx it. Let, let's say finals. Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he's very talented and he knows what he's doing. Especially, um, he seems to be one of those people who can keep their head cool uh, in the longer run. So. I agree. And Candyman, uh, not really familiar with the multiplayer he's... scene, but he definitely knows what he's doing mm -hmm. at every time. So. And he has this like really good and really really rapid execution, typical from the speedrunners. So, yeah, that's uh, I would say um, that's not much. That's not like you can transfer 100% of the skills, of course, and thankfully, from the speedrun. But you know, the quick inventory select, the quick runs, uh, those are things that you can kind of bring from, with you from home in this kind of uh, yeah. event. And he's definitely using them like the right way. But I don't think he's ever gotten the chance to, you know, practice on the trap and trick shot. If you think about it, that never happens in the speedruns. So. Nah, I don't think so. But he's definitely trying, so he's definitely brave Absolutely. to do that. Absolutely, I dig this. And he definitely knows his distance. He could be on the bounce. Mm. Nah, that's not dirty. Unfortunately, but okay. it's just enough to nice. be run a deer. So now that both, I think both grenadiers are out of the game. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, guys. My um. Um, hmm, yes, they are. Okay. Yes, because uh, the gray one was killed with a double jetpack. Exactly. Okay. Oh, now we see more poison action. Oh, let's see. This is interesting. Twenty-five right there. <laughs> he could do a double, but that's very, very, very risky. Almost impossible. So yeah, he goes for the. Yeah, but you might as well try it. Oh, he's gonna try as from this side, as... of course, because this yeah, way... as long as you start from the oh. twenty, from the end of twenty-five. See, JJ knows his tricks. I, I think he knows. Um, what like what risks to take? And, oh, look it's at good. that! Beautiful. It's good. Oh my I'm god! It's a I'm double. You have to see this game. Yeah. Oh, but the medic is now okay. See, now the medic can only save one. So that was absolutely necessary, actually. I didn't think of that. 
will you make it in time to oh, oh, like, <laughs> save the the ten health pig? For sure, he's gonna save one. I oh. hope he doesn't try. <laughs> Let well, maybe see. he will. He will probably save the ten, uh, the, the ten health. Yes. Oh and yeah. Then, sorry, uh, there's just one. on the part of the, the uh, on the scout at his turn. Absolutely. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> All right. That's the one. Good and old. basically avoiding a body blocker. Ah. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Or maybe he was afraid that uh, his peak were just so li lined up in the same spot. Uh, hmm. Oh, that, that would be. So, Fab, uh, what about uh, like the game so far? Who would who would win, you think? Ooh. Who's ahead? In your mind, who's ahead? Uh, that, that's a very tough question because I see Candyman having a slight uh, number advantage, I think. But... Um, or that, that should be like HP wise, um, JJ is doing better. I would say uh, right now it's very balanced, uh, at least in my book. Um, I don't wanna like jinx it, but I mean, it's fine, whatever. I think JJ is uh, slightly on top here. What do you think? Yeah, I, I would agree for now. Mm. Uh, but but well, on the other side, JJ is, is, making really, is making really, basically making the calls, and mm. Candyman is always finding the good answer to it Excellent. because if, if we, we just noted that twice uh, a pig was like aided from uh, a poison death and skip turn from the medic so oh, yeah basically i would i would say in this game uh, jj is jj is it's making the questions and uh, candyman is taking it's getting the answers hmm. which is interesting since uh, candyman was not starting but as we know that's not always the most important factor in the game Thankfully. Yeah, basically, and, and basically we have to consider that the Candyman did start, but did also take a lot of time to go on the aggressive. Exactly. And his first turn wasn't really that good. Yeah, I would even go as far as to say, in this map, uh, bringing the Medic first might not be the greatest choice, because you never know if you actually manage to find the Medic, you know, to, uh, even with 45 seconds. It's really not that easy. It's it's risky, but uh, on the other side, uh, you consider that you are that you're all the only one having a medic. So, whichever you trunk uh, on the first turn, it's it's good basically. That is true, absolutely. So you gotta make sure that you know if the enemy brings medic, uh, you want oh, let's to. Oh, let's go. Let's go, JJ. Oh. Let's go. <laughs> Bring some fireboards. Oh, it's... Give me a seventy. It's good one. Oh, it's a seventy. 50. <laughs> oh, 50, 50, Damn it. Fifty-four. <laughs> 54? Huh. Wasn't he at 4... At, yeah. At 57? Well, that only means one thing. He got some full damage, which sometimes happens when uh, you move a pig with great force against the wall. So. Yeah, but it's a 50 at least. So even JJ... Like JJ and Candyman taking the Shrapnel meta on <laughs> uh, on Grunt League 2, which I'm hella surprised, <laughs> but hella happy for that also. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is the first game of the Grunt League that you get to commentate, right? So. Yeah, and... I mean, it, could, it couldn't be a better fit. <laughs> <laughs> right. Come on, give me a shrapnel too. Nah, they're gonna go with the... Oh, okay. He's using that blast oh, radius. Oh, oh, he damage. finds the boots! Okay, he does. <laughs> it's gonna be a 20-ish. Both of them. Uh, oh, what happened there? <laughs> oh, God. I think... Oh. Oh, his scout yeah, got I, hit. I... I not sure but i think that the scout like flew up so much because probably the boots also uh, yeah. exploded and maybe this propelled him a little bit higher yeah did you also hear that scream uh, like the pig was squealing so i really don't know it, it, that's the full damage sound i don't know what happened there oh come on give me a shrapnel <laughs> <laughs> this could be it's yeah. 130 you're you're behind as you try to drop it no oh i see what you mean like when you're behind, you gotta try crazy things, yes. He's throwing the bunch yeah, enough. I think it's... More. I mean, it's fair. Uh, he's gambling on the position there. You know, hoping the TNT projects him in the right place. Honk. Let's see. Oh, it's perfectly good. It's definitely a repositioning. But... Oh, but he's next. Hmm. I, I, was, I was saying that, that he's behind, but actually it's a 3v4 situation, so not really behind. Although the medic is basically dead. 
They're just gonna kick him in the face a couple of times. Yeah, I gotta be honest, I think JJ is slowly um, pushing his uh, envelope further, further, which means he's get, getting an advantage now. And Medic is out. He's gonna do some damage to his uh, red guy, but... Huh. Oh, this uh, sapper is still... And... Uh, if I'm not mistaken, the other two pigs are... Uh, I should, they should be both under 20. At least the supper is. And... Oh, the sleeper! Oh, oh okay, that's... Uh, it's a huge... It's 11. It's... Oh, oh. Yeah, it's a huge uh, slip up if you. It's a huge slip because. Uh... Yeah. Yeah. Like 15. I mean, it's fifteen. It's gonna leave another turn, but just. Yeah, one. and probably the th the turn is probably gonna be used for a suicide move. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, compared to other games in uh, Grand League, both player does does not have like the fear of killing the the their own pigs if yeah. necessary. It's is probably true. the most, uh, like, one of the biggest factor to... Like, it's the biggest, biggest difference between uh, Grand League and the more... Uh, the, dead the Dead Leagues. Yes. If you want to call it like that. <laughs> the Dead League, yeah, exactly. Uh, no. <laughs> Don't go for the dead jokes, please. <laughs> I'm, I'm not... Uh, you, you, I, you're, I putting, them. <laughs> you're making it uh, as it is. I, I just said a normal word. Anyway. Okay. 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 So. <laughs> We, we forgot to uh, notice that um, JJ scalp was very low HP, so I think uh, that was a um, like misconsideration for me because this changes a lot. Usually, you know, you don't see the scalp targeted very heavily mm, mid game, but oh, but now JJ has a chance to harm some picks. He has to go for a shrapnel here. A shrapnel? You really want a shrapnel? I mean, he, it could he, work. The, the supper there is the 150. He has an 18 uh, supper and. Uh, the, the paratrooper which is uh, recently slipped you should be at 80 ish your opponent has a three pigs sir. oh but he pushes and him oh, and two of them are on over her over a hundred so mm. no nah, not really no no jj yeah jj is not the sapper uh, is at over a hundred and um the other sapper is at 15 and uh, poisoned and the, the gray paratrooper is at 30. And this is a close match, so this is probably... Those turns are key to wrap up the game. Yeah, you're right, you're right. And this turn, for me, it's really the essence of this, of this game, because you have to do something to gain this extra turn here and do something, gain the extra turn, and then see how good you, you are, basically. Indeed. So he might actually, JJ might actually manage to do this. Like five head jumps are never easy to do, even in 45 seconds, I would say. Even in 45 seconds, yeah. But he but gets a fourth. Seems on spot on for now. Yeah. Four jumps, four, four, four one damages. Oh, nice. Uh, the last one is obviously the hardest, but he manages. Frame, uh, bit of a yes. frame. Uh, yeah. Loss here. Definitely go for the stopper if you can. You think it's best to keep the sapper on? I mean, yeah, I don't know, the para is very easy to kill. Okay, yeah, he did. I, I, I guess that the para used his jetpacks, yeah. and... Uh, That's so, uh, you, I mean, if, if I have to go on a 1v1, one, one one, I would rather go with the, the para instead of the engineer. Yeah, so. and, and you know, if uh, it's 2v1, uh, you can basically do the constant body block, you know? So maybe going for the supper would have been the wise choice, but uh, it's, it's, a fair, it's a fair play here. It's gonna I mean, try. That, that was, uh, to be fair though, that was, this was a really spot on turn from JJ because... Yeah. Got the double oh. kill, got the extra turn, got a 50. Yeah. He had to, fi to jump five, five times. On the head of uh, oh? of the paratrooper. If uh, whoa, he... that para is uh, extra tall. It's not. <laughs> yeah, he has to go from behind. <laughs> can you uh, okay, even? Okay, I was saying you you, you can always uh, get, get pull out uh, a shrapnel <laughs> if you're panicking. So that's what you were waiting for, weren't you? Oh, but he's yes. angle. Why is he? He's angling this? like I do usually. Oh, you do that. But you okay. have to, you have to keep in, you have to keep in mind that you have to be a little bit above or like. On the same height. Oh. This looks good. Okay, I no! see. It, it's a 50. Not enough. But what a brave move! But now, 
we have to see if JJ is able to make oh a my god he might again. there is potential here uh, the, there's the... potential and there's a lot of boots also <laughs> oh my god yeah <laughs> oh my god let's see if he does it I'm so excited for the shot the shot of it seems fine. a bit short no it seems perfect no what? oh it's 48 it's just short Oh my God. He's got it. He gets it with the mortal shrapnel. And the JJ gets the first game what with, a a, close match. with one paratrooper with five health. What a close match. Really entertaining. I'm shocked. High level play. I'm shocked. Can't wait for, her, for game two. Start. Exactly. And uh, well, we're going to have uh, our second game very soon. Stay tuned. Right and welcome back to game two in Pitch Invasion. And um, yeah, we have seen uh, JJ scraping uh, the la at the last turn uh, the first ma game of this match. And let's go through the lineups. Uh, JJ bringing Paratrooper, Grenadier, Engineer, Scout, and Medic. And we're gonna soon see Candyman's uh, lineup. Indeed. Do you want to tell us, uh, Fab? Yeah, sure, we have a uh, uh, medic burst, uh, paratrooper, grenadier, uh, engineer, and sniper last. So a little interjection here: uh, we had to um, go on and uh, redo this uh, first bit of the um, redub because we noticed uh, a little slip up in uh, in the system. So basically, now you will see JJ skipping oh, his first turn over and over until Candyman goes first, but. As you probably have seen before, Candyman already took the first turn, but uh, somehow this piece of information skipped through the, four, the, the two players and the two former casters. So, um, as Axpey mentioned uh, in the uh, behind the scenes, uh, this might come down to a uh, gentleman agreement or uh, the judges uh, will take action. So, just to make it short, whatever happens, um, if you're seeing this video on YouTube, then it means that it's been solved. And uh, we'll let you know, uh, probably through the description, um, how we uh, decided or how the ju jury or judges or players decided to go through this. So for now... Yeah, because uh, as uh, we mentioned, uh, Candyman got the first turn in the first match. So JJ was supposed to go on the check uh, here first. But yeah, as we can see, the game starts with Candyman going uh, going ahead with his medic yeah let's just right see. on front meanwhile jj did put uh, his medic on last yeah it's a very interesting lineup actually it might play on jj's favor to have medic last um because you know if now the medic decides to do the good old medical medic action <laughs> jj's gonna have four free like four more turns until that kicks in so you know as an oxymoron this is actually Probably not that bad, but oh, okay, okay. He goes for the para. Very bold move and probably the best one actually for Candyman. Okay, that's maybe he saw that uh, the medic in JJ's lineup was last. And yeah, decided sure. not go for the medic on medic action. And yeah, that's um, good because the, the the big risk of doing this, uh, like have this dynamic, is that if you end up having a pig that skips your the turn in like the enemy's lineup all of a sudden you're on the other side of the of the of the moma that's true i want to use it tonight basically now. yeah I, I would predict that that's what that's what's gonna happen you know um i think well, candyman is kind of playing around with that because uh having already had his turn and his his strength with uh use, spending it on the part trooper True, but the, yeah, exactly. But now JJ with his medic could start uh, medical medic action. You know what I mean? Mm, that's that's basically unreversible. Mm. That that would mean that two pigs uh, of Candyman's uh, lineup has to skip, to skip his turn ahead of the medic. So, I mean, I, I don't think that that we, we don't gonna have like. Well, I mean, the medic uh, another another medical medic action sweep. No, no. We'll see. We'll see. Um, maybe I'm uh, missing some pieces. So, or maybe I'm wrong. I'm just uh, yeah. like chit chatting about stuff I don't know. But uh, <laughs> we, 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 exactly. we, we can see that the Grand Deer uh, is gonna give back a hefty amount of damage, but not the best execution from JJ. 
Indeed. The Grenadier from Candyman. He's gonna have a, around 20 more health than his counterpart in red. Mm -mm. So, I mean, um, Candyman uh, going uh, huge on the airburst and the, and the health. And um, of course, uh, he tranquilized the, the, uh, the, uh, the opponent paratrooper in order to have the. Uh, oh my you know, god. Advantage that could be out of map. Oh no, no. It's a save. It was really close. <laughs> but that's a huge amount of damage, still. Still a huge amount of damage, yeah. And on the medic, which still has to take his turn, so. Mm. But I see a common theme, like, between the two games. Candyman is still uh, on the aggressive side, uh, not afraid of, uh, you know, uh, taking the steps uh, and uh, going close and personal with uh, JJ's... Uh... JJ's... Uh... Sorry, I had burp. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. But yeah, I, I noticed also, uh, to add some to that, they really uh, don't seem to be going that much on uh, body blocks, uh, which is interesting. I would say, you know, uh, that's uh, part, of, part of the Grand League idea, like, you know, um, people are not using the most up-to-date strategies or, like, the most effective, or maybe I'm wrong, okay, we'll see. I'm, I'm, I mean, I am a player as well, so that I'm, you know, I'm learning and also kinda grassroots player, so I, I might not know that. that. They are not afraid of using uh, the high-risk, high-reward uh, yeah. um, weapons. Like the shot, like the shrapnel, or uh... oh, I, speaking of which, yeah. <laughs> and yes, Candyman once again. Oh, but from trying right now with a with a higher angle, this could be. This has a lot of potential of basically ending the medic's life here. Mm. Oh, it's, it's only a thirty. Kind mm. of a shame. He will have another turn to try to take out the medic without making yeah. making him do any turns at all. Which could be huge in, and I mean, uh, in their favor, favor. Yeah, and I mean, I think JJ's next uh, pick in the lineup should be the medic, if I'm not mistaken. So that yes. might be. Indeed. It might be that the medic gets tranked, like the uh, Candyman's medic. We'll see. Uh, unless he takes out the. Unless Candyman takes out the medic now. Exactly. But... And he will have an engineer, which. Oh, you're right, yeah. And he, it shouldn't be that, you know, difficult to. Oh wait! Oh, overshot! Oh, oh my no, god! No, 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 no! I'm, I'm totally wrong. <laughs> He's yeah, gonna have a scout now. He has a scout, yeah. And the medic is at, uh, uh, it, uh, it's, it's in a convenient 25 health. Oh ho ho! So he's not only gonna not make his turn with the medic, but he's also gonna skip the turn. Oh man, you're right. So, perfectly planned from, uh, from Candyman now. Well, I, I wouldn't say planned, to be honest. Uh, he was trying a shrapnel, but um, <laughs> definitely. Oh, oh, maybe it was the intention of not doing a sh like a trick shot. I I'm not sure, but he manages. I, I, I mean, the um, this is huge. The thought process in these cases should be: if I do fifty, that's fine. Mm -hmm. If I do thirty, I do this. If I miss and exactly. do thirty, I do this. Yeah, that uh, oh, that makes sense. Yeah, I would still tranquilize the paratrooper, to be honest, because uh, the, mm -hmm. there is still a health and the, the creative at stake. That's true. Oh, maybe he's just going for a quick... Scout should be a full health, if I'm not mistaken. Quick topping up with the sapper. Sapper has six... Yeah, he... he, he <laughs> 16? Oh. Yeah, it's the damage that he took from the medic uh, dying right now. <laughs> well, yeah, it's uh, it's always something, you know, it's... Um, yeah, yeah, I mean... Be useful. You got one healing hand. You might as well use it. <laughs> exactly. And this is this is one uh, one of the turns that you can't do in uh, in regular league because you basically use forty seconds. Exactly. I don't, don't think you would have uh, would have had the time to do everything. But Candyman using his time, making his uh, thinking where it needs where we need to think, and yeah, one paratrooper, so three jetpacks, which means that you choose between one. Extra crate, health crate, or two extra air burst, and I would stay on top of that. To be honest. Yeah, it, it serves as an anti-engineer. Uh, it stays on top of the now defunct uh, crate, even so a little bit more mm. height there. Uh, a bit, a bit far. Uh, yeah, it's at almost thirty. It's uh, seventeen. Twenty-seven. <laughs> oh, bless you. Thanks. 
<laughs> Jesus. Let's okay. Um, yeah, a bit of a waste, honestly, but... JJ, uh, I mean, Candyman is doing the right things at the right moment. JJ is now the, uh, the, the person behind and needs to take more of a risk to get back on track in this game. Indeed. For now. But we can see the big boy here. He's definitely capable of doing that. Oh yeah, JJ has a oh, has a track record for good trap uh, for good uh, grenades. Three shots. Okay, which was a uh, hmm. He's it was at one fifty. Flat fifty. So yeah. basically, it was a eighty oh, four, yeah. eighty six. Yeah. Uh, I, I, to be honest, I didn't count. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I was focused on uh, the fact that the grenadier had a flat fifty HP, so he might just. Uh, he's going now. That's a... Uh... It's a bye bye for the uh, for the Grenadier. Exactly. And yeah, I see this uh, game taking quite a... Quite a one, w one way towards uh, a grey victory. But you never know. Uh, I mean, I mean the, the, the two most valuable pieces are out of JJ's, of JJ's lineup. Yeah, and uh, if I'm not mistaken... Um... Yeah, uh, let's go, JJ. Let's go. <laughs> yes. Oh, a bit. Ah, a, bit late. a little bit uh, late. That's unfortunate. Sorry, well, you were saying. Oh yeah, scout. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, no. Uh, Candyman still has a scout, so it's a four v three situation. Um, I was thinking, uh, Candyman, Candyman's grenadier also is uh, out of the game, and uh, his engineer is at forty four, so it might be not that huge of an advantage, but it is an advantage. So. But you have to consider that Candyman has still the medic on, and that medic has also another tranquilizer. Yeah. So this means that Candyman at some point is gonna do an extra turn compared to the JJ if JJ doesn't do something about it mm -mm -mm. in time. So I don't know. See. I, I see like the, there oh. is a lot of potential. Oh Ooh. no! Almost a double poison there. Was nice a very try. Hard one. Yeah. I wonder if we need going... a breather. This game is much, much more calmer than uh, than the other one. <laughs> oh, oh! You almost my something. man was standing on the <laughs> on the opponent's pig without doing any damage. He just gently dropped on it. Uh, what's the plan? JJ now here? studying the, the 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 situation, trying to redo it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, he wants to knock him down. I guess that's. Uh... That's, That's okay cool. because uh, it's an advantage that uh, you can you, you can basically it, it makes it e it makes it more difficult to hit him with any other uh, weapon. So using the sniper rifle that was pr probably the best the best option to take the paratrooper down. Although um, does he have an engineer still? I mean JJ should have one. JJ yeah, he, there he, he is. Be there. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Hmm. But you're right, uh, uh, Candyman's orderly, uh, aka the medic, is a very like loose cannon. It can be dangerous and uh, goes to the last uh, tranquilizer. Will he body block or not? That's the question. I don't know. I think he shouldn't, but he will mm -hmm. because of time issues. I mean, okay, here's the thing uh, you don't want to body block when it's a high priority target, but the paratrooper isn't really, I would say. So this move isn't completely, you know, uh, pointless. But but yeah, uh, compared to a sapper which is still full HP, he might want to. I, I would have, I would have like, take my distance anyway because uh, the paratrooper skips immediately this turn, and yeah, yeah, yeah. you kind of have to deal with him because right. uh, he has three dead, three jetpacks yet to use. And in oh, 45 that's seconds, true. that's 60 seconds. That's that's 60 damage. Let's assume that he's using one of the jetpacks to go uh, take the other airburst. Exactly, you're right. So yeah, Paratrooper here could be quite a pain in the arse if you want to <laughs> use... Uh, pardon my French. <laughs> but, uh, uh, yeah. But still, Let's the see. medic is... Uh, the medic is gonna stay alive for a little bit longer, I guess. I don't know, I'm just trying to see the silver line here. Oh, I need... <gasps> Was that a 70? No, it's a 50. Oh, okay, sorry. I was at 60, it's 60. 50 with some extra damage. Ah, okay. Huh. Because it was a, six, a 76. 76? 
Yeah, the pink oh, was, was at 76. 76. Okay. Oh, he's gonna go for a suicide. Oh. Or not. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I think uh, that's kind he's of way too risky. The bottom to the uh, bottom to top. It's the hardest one. It's good. Oh, he does it. That's a 50. Oh, it's a 50. Good, good. Very good. I like this game. Wait. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. The engineer dies too. <laughs> he fell for his own shrapnel. He, sh he fell for his own shrapnel. This kind of opens up the game again. Yeah, for sure. I mean, JJ Wait, now is on top, I think. Oh, but this... Nah, I, I see definitely Candyman still on top of the of this game, but it's definitely mm -hmm. opening a window of opportunity for JJ to come back. Mm -hmm. Because the paratrooper is eats at full health, but has used both of his... Uh, oh my god. He's not a foot high, foot, uh, at full health, to be honest, but... Uh, it's still pretty health healthy, and uh, but has used all the jetpacks, has used the two errors that he has, that he, so it's kind of a, you know, a, a, a pyrotechnic minus, if you want to call him like this. Hmm. <laughs> and um, this is actually interesting. What he's gonna do? The, the scout uh, it's a 28 and, and poisoned. Hmm. The red one so he missed a couple of jumps or jumps he probably wants to do three jumps and go on with a go close and personal with a knife oh god what oh god <laughs> okay that happened. what was that he was able to displace the pig which actually works against the canyon because that's uh, even harder oh okay just He's gonna go for uh needs to be at least 17 oh no <laughs> that's bad <laughs> He's now at 20, so... Yeah. Not sure. And, yeah, the paratrooper can do, f finally do his first turn of uh, <laughs> of this game. He's finally free. He's like, breathing the air for first. I'm free! <laughs> and he gets, uh, you know, uh, this airburst uh, crate could be important, because it could just give um, JJ the right ha edge to turn his own, to turn his over. And, uh, Definitely, if, uh, this 70 health paratrooper uh, needs to be dealt with as soon as possible. Yes. For now, he's uh, on the loose and uh, might do a lot of damage to this medic. Let's see. I I predict a tough 60. Okay, almost. But this is very good. Oh, this is very good. It's more than 60. But 14 uh, is 62. Nice. A really strong turn there. Mm, okay, he's gonna deal with the poison, which is good. Yeah, he, yeah. he kind of had to remember that he used this tranquilizer, so the uh, the, the healing hand is not on the bottom. Exactly. Again. Oh. <laughs> with the thingy. Oh my god. My man is too uh, is too used for uh, to to, <laughs> the, <laughs> yeah, to, to, to to the speed runs. He feels that he's kind of missing the scout there. He needs to knife him because the scout the scout oh. is. Yeah, 20 and poisoned, but right. I guess he wanna. I completely like, forgot about some that. Damage, some damage to the paratrooper. Let's yeah. see if it's. That's a very risky position. He needs some more time to think about what is going to happen. I but I cool. guess this is gonna be a full 45. Oh my god! It nice. is. And now once again a 25. Did Kenny even lose his? Uh... Uh, uh, scout, or does he have it already? Uh, does he have it still? I, I... man still has his scout. Okay, so he could technically make uh, the para skip a turn even. Huh. Yes. He Beach. can. It's, 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 it's there, like uh -oh. near Zoski. <laughs> if I'm, I'm probably gonna say, maybe I, I, I'm not, I'm not sure now, but uh, it should be there. Yeah. The great scout. Ah, okay, okay. The great scout. Yeah, I'm sorry, I don't know, I lost track of the picks. That, that's something I struggled yeah, with in-game as I'm well. I'm kind of losing it too, but I'm not playing, so I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the, the, the minimap confirms that uh, the, the, uh, the, the, the great scout is alive and kicking. Right, okay. He was only on the other side of the map, but that's mm -hmm. fine. <laughs> exactly. Well, now Kennyman just tries to do as much damage as possible, of course. Yeah, I see a lot of potential to go to game to game three for this game. That mm -hmm. was at twenty exactly, so a knife would have been a skip turn. Wait, uh oh, what is he doing? 
He's going for the other scout. Huh. But he's not going go, going to suicide, which might be huge. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, he does. What I think is yeah, the best. Kind of a good one. I mean, you poison him. You can deal twenty with the with the suicide. Exactly. Maybe that was a bit of an overthrow, but <laughs> fine. That's fine. So oh, thirty-five plus a, plus a poison, but you lose your team. Yeah, this is the closest. Oh, oh and now great, comes. Uh, Oh no! Great that we didn't consider, but yeah, uh, this great, this great is not gonna swing too much of the game because it lands on <laughs> Candyman's turn. <laughs> so yeah, this I, I think that 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 great should, should be fixed. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know what's the deal with that. Like it's supposed to bring uh, a little bit more fairness, but you never know who's gonna get it. Like, in fact, sometimes this player too. Oh, oh my God! Almost hits the medic. Almost did the medic, but he's gonna skip another turn. Mm -hmm. And yeah, now it is a three, a three versus one. The airburst goes in the in the chunky hands of the <laughs> of the medic. So yeah, we are now swollen for how many healing he's done. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Uh, you mean you know you, you can see that uh, the medic now has a little bit uh, the, the the edges of the hand are a little bit rounded <laughs> instead of being uh, they're consumed so, <laughs> that's it <laughs> they've been consumed too much for oh, the healing <laughs> yeah I mean this medic has been doing a lot of work and will he try a uh, will he get raised yeah <laughs> oh yes let's go show me another forty five I know you can do it uh, I don't know Belteria. Uh, Oh, that's good. That's good. Oh, it... oh, damn it! Because of the unevenness of the terrain, yeah, only a fifteen. Yeah, it's not easy to consider. To consider it, especially this map. This is a lot of un of, of unevenness, especially in the tunnels, if you want to call it like that. Like this. But nonetheless, if, um... nonetheless, I think we're gonna we, we kind of have a winner here already. But we'll see. You were saying sorry if. Uh, I kind of lost track of oh. what I was saying because uh, I, I didn't mute my phone and uh, I got a message. So <laughs> <laughs> happens, happens. sorry for that. But yeah, I, I can see that the game uh, is slowly going to an end. Uh, JJ, did JJ use any shrapnels? Because I don't think he, he can like turn around this game if he doesn't have shrapnel. He does, but it does. Oh, is it enough for the medic? Ooh. Yeah, 51. It's because it's probably going to be a 49 too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he's gonna need a lead two dumps. Oh no, it's a 50. Oh, it's a 50. Oh, just... All right. Fall damage? No. There is no way. Okay. Will he end the turn, the game here? Uh, Schnitzel kind of out of uh, resources. 48. He's not gonna end this turn here, the game here, at least. Yeah. Unless. He does eight jumps on the head. Oh, yeah. come on! Is he okay, gonna, no. I'm gonna I'm gonna make myself some coffee. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna take a while. Yeah, I mean, not more than 45 seconds, mind you. But no, no. I mean, there is. To be honest, I don't think there's any possibility of that. Okay, so actually, like technically, if you wanna be precise, there could be a chance for JJ, but. He's gonna have now, to pull up a miracle, but he do, but the problem is now no no now he doesn't even have the speed he needs, like nah nah almost impossible, but you know hmm. we have seen some epic chokes of uh, of games uh, in the past, so yeah, it doesn't mean that, uh, that it will it won't happen unless uh, he's one HP medic, and, uh, that one could have gone he... for drawable. AJ goes for a honor bubble uh, suicide. <laughs> Did he explode? Oh no. <laughs> but, uh, the knockback was huge. The knockback was huge, but. But uh... Yeah, this just ends our suffering on uh, <laughs> head jumping and stuff. And we go swiftly to a game three. Exactly. See you in game three. And we're back for game three. Um. After a little break from our side, and um, um, me and Axper are back, and now we're seeing, um, okay, um, we're seeing JJ and Candyman uh, fighting on Square Off. Uh, Axper can uh, can read the lineups if you want. Yes, they we're gonna fight for the full three pointers of their first game. Oh yeah. In the in, in the group, they're playing for Group C. Am I right? Uh, no, for Group A. 
I, you could be unprepared. I think group B. Yeah. Mm, okay. No, it might, if, no, no if, it's group if, C. It's group C, I'm group sure. Group C, okay, okay. I remember the picture now, yeah. All right, all right. Then the two lineups were JJ with an engineer, grenadier, paratrooper, scout, and medic. Meanwhile, Candyman is going for medic, grenadier, paratrooper, and Tobol engineer to close it out. And it's gonna be JJ going first. Indeed, on this uh, very um, large feeling map. I know all maps are the same size, uh, technically, but Square Off mm. always feels uh, immense. Uh, yeah, I mean, you have to work around a lot of... Pretty weird the uh, water position mm -mm. and slippery tiles. And I can't, I, I can't, like, not do a comment on uh, spawn points. Like, oh, yeah. What the hell is going on with all this grey in that... Gosh. Corner, <laughs> in the corner there. There is no and peace in one island. In the, in, the, in the same small island. Oh, yeah. And we don't know about the scouts. Do they have any scout uh, in the lineups? They do. JJ has one. Oh, okay. JJ has one. So we don't know yet. What's? I mean, no. We we see it actually. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. And one big component of this map. It's uh, a guaranteed super TNT somewhere, and at least oh. two. If I'm, if not three, random crates that always play a big role in this uh, in this in this map. Exactly, and we see Candyman going for a very brave uh, uh, Lock, leaving jump. the ma the island. Yeah, no jump because I mean it's kind of hard in the slippery tiles, but he should have done it. It's really not, yeah. not easy. I've never been able to execute it actually because I always like think I can do it later. But once you're slippery, what is the pig is slipping? Cannot jump. We'll see how he does. What he does? Oh, he goes for a. For a trank. Trank Best. was kind of thinking where the best position is. Oh. And yeah, I mean, he pushes it a little bit closer to the explosive barrel, so not a bad shout. Indeed, indeed. <clears throat> I would say probably JJ a little bit unlucky because yeah. his two most valuable pigs are here trapped without the possibility to get out, really. True. Heavy machine gun in the random crater rifle burst as usual. Yeah, I don't know. It's gonna try a bounce. I don't know. Or, or we have definitely seen, like later, like earlier this week, that this kind of bounce uh, on the other side of the map is definitely possible. Oh, okay. Yeah. But it's Ooh, also look at that. it's cute. Ooh, look wow. At that. That's that was an amazing. Already under fifty. Under forty, even. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. Uh, at least uh, 60, 70, 70, 70 ish damage. Yeah, and really I thought turned. that Grenadier would be useless. My bad. Another... You stand corrected. And another heavy machine gun. <laughs> so, random crates is the. It's basically giving <laughs> heavy machine guns today. Yeah. As we will not see them enough with the bunkers. With the pink boxes. I mean. Indeed. Yeah, I know what you mean. The pink boxes. Not the pill boxes. Pill boxes. Yeah, it's kind of sad because you know the now to the left area of uh, of the game is usually where we have a lot of the juicy action hmm. going on. It's kind of left empty. That didn't trick the barrel, but medic in a really bad position. Kind of yeah. got covered by the fact that they say that they did the turn was skipped. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And these two turns in rapid succession basically also bring into the game the, the, jet, the crate with three jetpacks and uh, the Super TNT on the small islands in the center. Indeed. That's also yes. something we have to keep in mind. He has the potential to make the barrel explode, but no. I mean, maybe with the... No, I don't think you have machine if you, if you are, If you're crazy enough, you can try, like... Aiming in the middle between the barrel and the yeah. and the paratrooper. Although you gotta be careful. He's actually high. doing oh, it. Wow. That's what he's doing. But uh, is one bullet enough? Oh, it is. It is. <gasps> what? Fifty-five. Oh. The fifty-five oh, no. is from the barrel. Uh, basically, the the shot was cancelled by the barrel. Uh, okay, this uh, game always. Loading. It's another random crate. Oh, and the so special ops. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Everybody's <That's> favorite. <laughs> yeah. 
yeah, Fab, any comment on the game? Well, so far, uh, I, I think it, uh, both players, I think they're starting to get more used uh, to each other and, uh, you know, just playing uh, in a competitive way again. I don't think I've seen uh, errors so far. That They've been playing very well. So, very heated. Not to be confused with reheated, which is uh, something that's gonna come up uh, someday. I mean, that is something that we are waiting for a while. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, okay, okay. So, now, actually, Kennyman has... Oh, no, okay. I thought he was gonna go for the Super TNT. I do wonder if he even knows about that. He hasn't played with us in the game uh, nights, so... I suppose he hasn't played a whole lot of Square Off. But we'll see. Maybe he did train. Maybe he knows. He's a person that is usually, like, really... Uh careful to, to, to details yeah. probably had, had enough to know this potential uh, team but maybe he isn't he's not considering it as uh, as an option right now but we'll and see i think he's gonna end up just... oh perfect oh my god this is this is might be the end of the what where is he oh, he's going all the way Tapper back is yep. going the other way and it's... this is gonna take so much time <laughs> it won't even let... okay it's done <laughs> we had two different songs in mind, but they both worked. I was thinking of the Geopardy theme. Uh, uh, doesn't matter. I don't know what, uh, what I was even, even singing. Why am I doing it? So? It was the Jurassic Why Park I? theme. I, I know what you were singing, but you don't know what you were singing. That's amazing. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> That's, I love this. That's why I need you as a co-host. I mean, at least I know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, just as a song guesser. That's that's enough for me. Okay, so we see a very unusual uh, weapon for the medic. Oh my god, what? Ah. Okay, it hits. It's damage at least. Oh, I think his plan was to push him in the water. It was a very hard shot, but mm. went, it went good in my opinion. Any damage is good damage, uh, as they say. Yeah. I totally agree with that, and let's see the last random clay crate of this map. What we uh, have in store for us? It's oh my! Yes, uh, wow! Gracious. And let's see how it gets used. Probably not much for now. I don't but... have these guys playing uh, square off as a decider. This is very tense. Like I would be very tense in this game. Lots it of things going on. Is, but for now, it seems like the map unfolded pretty. Like pretty fairly. Ooh. <laughs> it's yeah, always a dangerous it. spot there. Oh, not a trotter. Pulls up his punches. Was just like, oh, oh, oh my god. It might be another kill by water. And he finds shelter in the shelter. Mm, I think he will survive, but I'm not sure. I'm gonna guess he's gonna survive. Depends uh, if he lands on the slippery tiles. Okay, yeah, it's fine. Okay, he didn't even get water. But if he hit the slippery uh, tiles, he could have like been projected away. But the city is uh, not so stranded in here. What is he gonna do? I've never. I gotta say, I don't think I've ever seen in a competitive scenario anyone breaking the, uh, you know, uh, tripping mines. the grenade. Yeah, tripping the mines on purpose. So he that would be. Do it now. Mm. Nah, he's not thinking about it. He yeah. should definitely jump in the pillbox and try to eat to see destroy the medic, which oh. should be on site. You were right. I mean, that might be something that you might do at the end game, I guess, if you want to like mm. get out. But usually things don't need to go like that in Swift. Oh, yeah. It's see, this is what I mean. It's like such a dangerous play. Yeah, and I don't think you have the reach to to get there. Mm -hmm. And killing the medic probably would have been a better move here. Considering that now he's get, he gets the turn, gets the heal. Oh. And probably oh. also gets Trank out. If he doesn't decide to jump in the pillbox. Oh yeah. Oh no, no, he can't. Oh, uh, maybe not. Maybe pillbox time then. What would you do? Would you leave that para alive? Or would you kill it? Nah, we would kill him. Because it's it's basically the only... Red pig there. Oh, oh, and he goes is for the. Okay. Is it going to reach? Yeah, it is. It definitely is. And that's a very smart move from, uh, from uh, Candyman. That's, that's a really good move. Because you, you, you never. Have, uh, yeah. yeah, you have. And you have another. Uh, you, you basically you have the, the right to use uh, another 40 damage shot with the, uh, with, with the pillbox later on. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the, the special ops might come in handy in the future. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, why not, right? He, he could use that to get the Super TNT, but the problem is he has to make it alive out of that deathly island. So, I don't know, we'll see. For now, the two Ooh. players basically ignoring the, the Super TNT. Yeah, it, you know, it's there. They probably know it's there, but they don't want to. Because it, it might be a blunder to actually go and reach for it, because that pig then becomes very weak if he managed to escape. Oh, what is he doing? I think he's trying to get in, but <laughs> it's already he, occupied. He could, I think. He could get, get in, uh, yeah. it's occupied but by, by his medic, so he, he can actually do it. So what was that? I don't know. Wait. Oh, okay. Doesn't want one to of the many, uh, One of the many heavy machine guns uh, distributed. Uh, <laughs> Tonight. <laughs> True. It's very interesting. I was thinking of the random algorithm. If uh, you know, because it is happens. Is it really random? Yeah, it's never is it, fully is random. Is he trying to hit the blimp? <laughs> no. Although, if he was, oh my god, that's, that's good. damage. Considering the distance, that's uh, good damage. And this might mm. give us a hint of what's gonna happen in the in the late game. Uh, in Square Off, it's like almost always ends up like this, you know, like long shots, taking a long time, so I'm glad we took uh, a little break before this game, uh, asked by because <laughs> this might be a long um, Honestly, I'm not, because now I have to go to pee, oh, and you. I hope that the game <laughs> was, <laughs> was, was going to a quicker end, but I now have to hold it until... Uh, I mean, if you want, uh, I, I can cover you for now. Nah, nah, don't worry, don't worry, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not gonna, like, leave the game... Uh, uh, midway, it's too intense. but we can see now that Grenadier uh, was a, it was a nice choice to put him on the cover of the pillbox there. Yeah. Oh no. I I, I would have appreciated that shot because it's so hard. Hmm. Pillboxes might be tricky to aim, and uh, the medic could, took a good cover from this one. Will he reach there? I probably would aim it a little bit higher because I think. Across the map like that. Uh, I, I think. Uh, Hard to get down a little bit. The shot. Enough. I think it's enough. Oh my god! It just. Oh, barely no. misses. It was definitely enough. Yeah, the thing is, like, uh, the diagonal is too much. It's too long. But the side, you know, either horizontally or vertically, it's usually enough. Uh, from my. It's usually really wonky and tricky to yeah. aim with the pillbox, especially long, long distances. Okay. And he goes again. Tries to get the grenadier. Which, you know, all things considered, uh, he's keeping his distance from him, so it's not that dangerous. Eh, some damage on the pillbox. Yeah, back to the other pillbox. Oh my god. has a nice sight of them, of both of the, of both of the pigs. Yeah, it's a, it's a fourth game. And yeah, I mean, as uh, ADB said once, uh, this is probably the only map that has like, a chance to go in a soft lock situation. Hmm. Yeah. And stalling, especially because of this uh, minefield here. So yeah, exactly. Especially now that JJ has two of his picks there. But let's mm. not forget we have a scout on the loose. JJ has a scout on the loose. So... <laughs> Slowly is gonna He's on the loose. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know which song you prefer. Yeah. To. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> not gonna... So do you know the name of it? <laughs> I don't. I'm sorry. I just. Oh know... God damn it. <laughs> I'm, I'm not the. Uh, I'm not Spotify. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, oh my God! It's what was the name of the other of the other app? That... Oh, Shazam! Oh. You mean? Damn! That's yeah, yeah, that one, that one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, that uh, JJ Scout is having a headache, probably from the shit talk that we're having or the granite, the, the cluster. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> Don't handle the, the the songs anymore. Yeah, it's like stop. And the bounce. Ah, uh, doesn't know. It doesn't work. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Medic has had enough of that. No, it's just not... I love how the medic is like 3 HP and it's like, oh, here, take this, gonna deal at 70 HP. Okay, now, now it's better. And then he I'm back away. In. I'm gonna back inside. See you in four turns. <laughs> yeah, I just imagine him like smoking his last cigarette inside the box. Like, <laughs> very dramatically being like, I did my best as a medic. And then just <laughs> I don't know, the, the medic is a very like dramatic class for me in this game. Yeah. I saved a lot of lives, but the other one, but the only one I couldn't save was mine. mine. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Oh, oh, wow, what the? Okay. Wow, nice on the bounce, on the skipper. 
I almost saw the mine get tripped, but no. Oh, it was right above, but I think the the medic is now on site. Oh, yes. Vulnerable. Oh, it might be. Mm. Oh. Oh, it's oh. 30. Blind you guys are shot. Good with the, that was with, with the shots. That was amazing. JJ is getting the hang of it. And mm. uh, oh, can we, we get have a, a rocket launcher there. The problem is that Candyman really has the monopoly over the pillboxes here, and uh, JJ mm. is not using his, which is interesting. If you think about it, he, like... he, he probably bets on the fact that he's a better, like long range player yeah. than, uh, than JJ and JJ doesn't really have any other option honestly he needs to he, he can play that he, he, he can only play that this way oh for god. now yeah. slowly but surely oh, oh my god one <laughs> how did he end up at with one HP did he get hit somehow he he, he got hit with a with a cluster grenade oh yeah like that the, class of course the, mm. he's very alive then Pretty much alive. So, Would it be nice if he like spets a lobster <laughs> into his own peel box, probably? Uh, uh, he, he could have uh, a special ops head in the minefield, but I don't know if that's a wise thing. I mean, just like be not to be away. Oh, he's going. Candyman. And he's uh, resorting to the nuclear option. <laughs> the super TNT. Yeah, he thinks that it's time to go to the, to the offensive. Oh, and he... sealed deal. Oh my god, this is a bold move. He's gonna pay a visit to JJ's man. He needs to not use it on the medic because the medic is really low on health and the grenadier is a full 120, so. Oh yeah, you're right. Will he have time? Nice. <laughs> that was a very uncomfortable place to. Okay, yeah, that's gonna be way enough. Bonk. Ooh. That's a good sleep. Time. It's gonna explode. Oh no, 171. 171 is gonna explode in the mines. The medic still alive, probably can scrape off uh, a turn with the tranquilizer, but I don't know. Uh, this is looking dire for JJ. Yeah, yeah, he's doing all his best to, like, uh, making the inevitable will happen a little <laughs> bit later. Yeah. I don't know. Honestly, maybe, maybe uh, this is what you should you're supposed to do when you play. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But um, maybe it's a dumb move. But I think I would have tried because of the incredibly unlucky situation where both your medic and your grenadier are trapped in the minefield of Square Off. I would have tried. I don't know. Maybe a cluster shot on the mines. Maybe something to get out of it. You know, just to get. He can he can jump on the head of the scout now because no, no, no. of the <laughs> of the roof. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's that's cool. I didn't think of that. Mm. But smart of JJ to stay there. <laughs> okay, this this might be a good shot. Like this looks fine to me. Yeah. Oh, nice. Um, I would I would go a little bit more on the right. On the right. Oh. Yeah. Oh no, it was but perfect. I stand Candyman corrected. Knows. Candyman knows his pillbox, I guess. <laughs> I was. It was. Yeah, really he's left with a uh, one health scout. Oh man. Probably gonna deal the 40 damage to the supper to yeah. gain an extra turn and see what what what, what can what can do. What, yeah, there. it's like shoot and then uh, leave another day kind of situation. Leave there another day. Much. I would use the special ops now and like go on the on the opposite side of the map. What a hard mission he has. This pig here, this scout. Oh my god! Actually, this. Oh, Why didn't actually. he use this? <laughs> I, I completely forgot about this as well. So. I probably I, I would probably special ops in the crate uh, like in the oh. structure like on the right on the left right that we, we we saw on the left. Oh yeah. Wait, there is a paratrooper sleeping there. Huh. So the paratrooper is on the other side of the pit box, right? Uh, no. Yeah, yeah. No. It's not the paratrooper is in the side, inside the minefield area. What if? And there's a pig in the pit box. Yeah, exactly. What if he manages to get him on the mines? I, I, I know it's it's a bit it's a bit hard, but uh, not enough displacement there. And this grenadier. Okay, the grenadier could have a chance to close it off now, but the positioning from JJ was pretty good. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna be a hard task. It's definitely doable for a person like Candyman, but we we 
my C. That's an extra was... turn for JJ. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It, now is the time you use the special ops. Come on, buddy. But where? I to... know it. It sucks to miss a turn. I know. Where would you use this, uh, the special ops? Sorry, I thought I, I, yeah, I would go in the structure that you see on the left right now. Ah, I see. Huh. And kind of trying to get in. I mean, at this point, it's fine here. Uh, I mean, this seems a pretty good uh, hideout. No, no, it's not fine here because it's gonna be the turn of the pig in the peel box that just jumps, jumps out uh, in from the peel box and punches you in the face, and the game is done basically. Oh, you are right. You are right. Well, and he misses. Unfortunately. Yeah. Oh man, I didn't think of that. Okay, now this is another shot, but okay. now he has to move. Now he has. Now to move. he has. I was wrong, but now you have to do this. Sure. Let's see if he does it. No, he it doesn't. It's thinking. It's about. <gasps> he has a what lot of gas. No, I consider it, but oh man. No. This might just be the last turn of JJ. Oh and my god. Again. Oh god. <laughs> oh. Feels bad. And this is the end. This was a very like. I commend JJ for the. Uh, you know the hard door of trying these very hard things and and closes it off with one job. the one thing he couldn't do yeah. oh my god is he gonna, <laughs> is he gonna disrespect <laughs> no he's already dead he's already dead okay <laughs> <laughs> exactly oh okay the so the and game now just... you have 15 seconds to you know show you what you got there's no <laughs> enemy left Okay, uh, like, wow, that. Is some trick shots. <laughs> Indeed. It just gave us a freeze frame that we never seen. Like, skip turn and immediately win. Win my skip turn. But uh, yeah, <laughs> so Candyman gets it in the end. Uh, what are your thoughts of this uh, three games that we've seen today? I think that this, this game in particular was a, a, a really a show off of good skills for, the, for both of the players. Unfortunately, I would say that first game was the most balanced. The other two was a little bit conditioned by the by you know game the maps uh, mm. and the, the logic. But uh, nonetheless, two really good games and uh, props to Candyman for the win. Indeed, uh, I agree, and uh, I'm really I was really excited to see Candyman perform in a Grand League and in general, like in a competitive multiplayer setup. And I'm not uh, disappointed. I'm very very happy how. Like, to have seen the actions that we've seen. And JJ, I gotta say, confirms again to be one of the top players. I, I think, all things considered, playing against Candyman wasn't an easy feat. And uh, so, no. well, well played to both. Well played to both. Probably the uh, most interesting game on paper for this week. And, um, yeah, the expectations were, were reached. Indeed. So this wraps up for this, uh, for this game. I hope you enjoyed. And... We're gonna see you very soon with the next game of the Grand League. See ya guys. Bye bye. Bye bye.